Hey guys, how's it going? Barrett back here and we're doing a nickel box. Still out on the road in the hotel room, but you know, they can't stop you from searching coins when you got some downtime, right? So I figured I would open it up with you guys since I saw, you know, it's got the holes in the bottom and it's definitely circulated and uh, hopefully I can get this open with one hand. And we'll see if there's any goodies in the top side. There we go. And not seeing anything. Uh, it's definitely older. There's not a lot of newer nickels, but there are no buffaloes or anything like that. But pretty cool. Hopefully it'll be good. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And let's get to it. Alrighty guys, roll number one, and we have our first hit. I saw it sitting back there, I was going to bring you in from the start, but I figured, well, we'll just wait till we get to the end. There is a 48, and that is a 48B. Alright, that's a good, good start. Alright, we'll bring you back. Two, we're going to have our second find, and that's going to be a 1954... Denver. All right, not a bad start. Two hits in the first two rolls. Maybe we even got something else in here. We do. There we go. We got a 1955 D. All right. 64. We see plenty of those. All right. Let's see if there's anything else hiding in here. No, not there. Maybe I should get the camera on where I'm pointing. <laughs> and that's going to do it. All right, we'll bring you back. All righty, roll number four. We're going to have another find here in the 50s. We've got a 1956 out of Denver. All right, we're going the wrong way. We wanted to go the other way. Down into the 30s would have been nice. Alright, let's see if there's anything else hiding out in here. And it is not looking like it. Alright, we'll be back. Alrighty guys, roll number six. And I thought I saw this by the edge, but I didn't check it. And well, needless to say, we're still happy we found silver. There is a 1945 out of San Francisco. Pretty cool. 45 out of San Francisco. All right. Always like getting silver in the box. Or nickels. Now we need to find a buffalo. I haven't gotten a buffalo in a while. But I'm not going to complain with getting silver, that's for sure. So let's see. Anything else in here? It is not looking like it. All right. We'll be back. All righty, guys. We're on the next roll, number seven. And right there, I'm going to say that is something older. No mint mark. It could be a 64. You never know, right? No. Quinella, 46. All right. 1946. Philadelphia. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll bring you back if there is something else. All righty, roll number eight. We've got another fine. It's an early 40s. Matter of fact, it is 40. 1940, Philadelphia. All right, pretty cool. Good start to this box. Hopefully it continues to go that way. That would be nice. Of course, 64. I thought that was going to be something good, but nope. Alrighty. Let's see. It looks like we're dwindling down here. Another 64. And that'll do her. We'll bring you back. Alrighty. Roll number 15. We went on a little dry spill there, but we're back at it. We got a 41. 41D. All right. 
Oh, there's another one. We got a 54. That is a 54S. Cool. Two hits make up for the... What, we have about seven rolls we didn't get anything. Let's see if we got something else in here. Well, it doesn't look like oh, maybe there. No, that's a 60. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it. We'll bring you back. Foreign. We got a Canadian. And that's a 1988 Canadian. And that came at the end of the roll, and there is nothing else. We're on to the next. Alrighty, we're on roll 23, and we got another 40 here. It's in pretty good shape. Got some weird yellow toning to it. 40, and that's going to be a 40 Denver. All right, and then I saw another one here that looks like it's a possibility. Yep, it's a 54. 54D. We've had that one already. Well, we got a couple. We might as well finish out the roll here, see if there's anything else. 74 ain't going to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're getting down to it, and it does not look like it. You know, that 40 could have been an ender, too. It kind of popped out there. Alrighty, guys, we'll bring you back. Alrighty, next roll, number 24. We got a couple shots here. Um, not 100% sure, but they both look like they could be and they both look like they might not be <laughs> so let's take a look together and that one is not what is that that is a 96 you know this one was the better looking of the two for the chance and oh man neither one of them hey okay. well there it is we'll bring you back Alrighty, that same roll, we're going to try guessing again, see if that one is old. Not, okay, well, at least we got one right. I would have rather got the silver right, but we got a 46. And doesn't look like there's a mint mark there, so 46 Philadelphia. And we'll finish out this roll with nothing else. Alright, guys, we'll bring you back. Alrighty guys, we're on roll 26 and we're going to have another shot at it. Here it is, 1939. We're still looking for that D. Come on, D. No, Philadelphia. Man, one of these days we'll hit that sucker. One of these days. I don't know how old I'll be, but... <laughs> We'll get it sooner or later. All right, well, we're moving on. And this has to be something because it sure looks old. <laughs> it does have a mint mark. What has it got? It's got an S, so it can't be my 39D, but it could be a 39. Now it's a 41, 41S. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's see if we can find anything else while we're here. And, man, that one's worn down, but it's just a 71. And there's a chance. Nope, right there. Yeah, that's going to do it, guys. We're moving on. Alrighty, guys, we're on roll 34, and I saw this one sitting down there. Thought we would bring in. We got a 55D. And, oh, that is a pretty decent looking 56 right there. That's in nice shape. And the back's not in that great a shape. That's a 56. Well, that's a Philadelphia. I don't get a lot of those. 56 Philadelphia. Then we got two hits. We might as well check the rest of it, right? Let's 
see if there's anything else hiding in here. And the window is down. It does not look like it. All right, we're moving on. Alrighty guys, we're on roll 47. And right there, you can see one poking its head out right there. We got a 1940. And it looks like there's some damage there. I think it's just a 40 Philadelphia. And let's just thumb through here real quick and see if we got anything else. like it. Alright guys, we got three rolls left. We'll bring you back. Alrighty guys, we're on roll 49 and I already seen this coin and it, it startled me. I didn't even see it. But look at what's there. We got ourselves a buffalo. I wasn't even paying attention and I slid. I saw this dark one and I saw it and I slid it down and I just, just went, oh geez, there's a buffalo. And that is a nice looking one. Not bad, we got a date on there. We got 1936, pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Got a little gunk on his back there. It looks like we could probably, that would probably, yeah, I knew that would wipe off. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we got silver and a buffalo in the, in the box. That's pretty awesome. All right, we got one more roll after this one. We'll bring you back if we got anything else. All righty, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this box up. It was a pretty good one, I must say. Uh, so let's see here. We got ourselves a 39P in the 40s. We got a 40D and two Ps. 41, we got a D and an S. Two 46Ps a 48D. Moving to the 50s, we got three 54Ds and two S's. 55s, we got two Ds. 56, we got a P and a D. And the rest are Ds. 57, we got two. 58, we got two. 59, we got three. And the hits of the box, guys, pretty cool. We got some silver. We got a 45S. And we got ourselves a pretty nice looking 1936 Buffalo Nickel. Check that out. That was pretty cool. Oh, and I got to throw in that Canadian. All right, guys, there we go. That was pretty cool. All I can tell you is tell the next one. See you then.